So, I mean, honestly, to begin with, it was kind of embarrassing, kind of personally, to share that last night. And uh, opening that letter I wrote to myself 10 years ago, um, I learned a few brutal lessons, and I read most of it verbatim on camera over myself, which is something that I learned how to do, basic editing, YouTube editing, that I learned how to do early on. But I thought it would be fun to do it on camera, and it's amazing how um, right away uh, two people talked to me about that video and what they saw. And in reference to my conversations with them, which, uh, you know, I had hours ago, but thinking about that video, that last video that I posted, I just wanted to say that um, I actually think it was kind of a bad idea to write to myself 10 years in the future. And um, people who might think that it's kind of neat <laughs> that you would do it as some way of testing your patience, as some way of uh, proving yourself on some some level. I, I don't even know what to say about it. I mean to say that um, rather than being really satisfying, and in a way it is satisfying because I've got this huge monkey off my back, I am kind of resentful and looking back at it and um, kind of the weird expectations it met and kind of how um, younger me was talking down to older me, which, uh, which is some side effect that people, I don't think people would realize. Maybe I seem a bit bitter about it, but I really do. Because uh, in what I've learned in my travels around the world, and um, <laughs> I only timidly, it's sort of like I had remembered it wrong. I thought that I would say to myself that I would go to some exotic place, definitely. But in the letter, it's more of a passive, maybe you go somewhere, or maybe you stay in Wisconsin. It's like, uh, no chance in hell was it going to stay in Wisconsin. And, um, but I didn't realize it at the time, and I didn't realize that within a year of writing that letter, I'd go to Japan. <laughs> I'd be living in, uh, South Korea, that I would be, um, making lots of money and living quite well, and living in a very strange place, and as part of an ongoing odyssey that has lasted ten years, and it's brought me, um, around the world. And so it's kind of neat to look back at that, but, but to look at that little punk self, that little 24-year-old uh, jerk, and I just want to say to him, look, um, you're completely wrong. But then there's sort of a future self. I, I'm reading uh, Jordan Peterson's um, 12 Rules for Life, right now, 12 Rules for Living <laughs> right now. And um, he's talking about the, the inherent chaos of the future and seeing as who I've become in 10 years is completely different than who I expected that um, who I will be in 10 years will certainly be completely different than who I am now and this reminds me of the um, great Buddhist or not Buddhist but uh, Chinese folk tract uh, which I've referenced before the thousand character classic in which the uh, narrator peers into the river and um, sees one face, but in truth it is many thousands, many millions, many, many different interpretations and expressions of a single human being that come to pass when uh, one is allowed to express, when one is given the freedom, the um, great privilege in the uh, Mahayana scriptures, it says the great privilege of having a human body and a human mind, uh, that we should use it well. But um, actually, I wanted to say, like, I completely discounted Buddhism. I mentioned Christianity in the letter, but I, um, it was actually, I think, a morning or two after I wrote that letter, right before I was released, that I, um, <laughs> I saw a um, broadcast of, it was Herbie Hancock, the piano player, and he was talking about um, his conversion to Buddhism. It was really weird, but it was alongside the um, Hillary Clinton versus Barack Obama, and that hadn't been resolved at that point. And little had I known at that 
infantile state of mind that soon I would be in another hospital bed in uh, in Korea watching the debates with one of my American friends. So I just wanted to say to that younger self and uh, to the older self who I expect will probably be watching this video because I don't really have much of an audience unless I get famous somehow or something interesting happens to me. But the uh, the very fact is, I just wanted to say to that younger self that he had no idea what he was doing, and I'm quite mad at him, actually, for uh, talking down to me. And that brings me back to my earlier point. I wanted to say to everyone that I discourage you, discourage you with, uh, whole, wholeheartedly discourage you from writing letters to yourself, because you'll just carry that monkey on your back, and you'll just uh, dream of... I don't know. I don't know what was in my head when I was writing that. It was like not even finished with my first novel at that point. But actually, uh, someone talked to me and he said, yeah, you really need to, to write another book. And so I actually, I finally, I bought some legal pads and I thought, I'm going to write another book. And I've been spending all day. I went to the park. I walked for like a, a mile or two just around the lake and I was just racking my brain for ideas, picking my brain for ideas, and I couldn't come up with anything. So maybe it'll hit me later, but as soon as it does, I'm going to write it the same way that I wrote my last book, and that was just um, on legal pads. And the same way, incidentally, that The Course in Miracles was written, A Course in Miracles was written. But uh, I'm not going to focus on that. I'm not going to focus on the Bible completely, but I am going to reference uh, what Hillary Clinton said. And this is uh, this goes back to this earlier problem that I had of rebranding. And actually, uh, lately I've been exposing my channel to just a lot of strangers that I've met. It's like, oh, I mentioned that I have a channel. They, they asked to find it. And everyone has Wi-Fi and everything. And so I put it into my channel, and it's actually been kind of a harrowing experience at some points, you know. they automatically hit play and want me to hear my voice back to myself. And it's terrible and it's embarrassing. And it's sort of like uh, I keep getting asked by people who um, uh, at least work with others who get very high subscriber counts. Like, the, you know, they ask me, so what are you doing exactly? And I, I couldn't quite figure out a total branding of my uh, channel. But I must, uh, I must refer back to the title itself. And Jinka Jabo goes back to Ulysses. It goes back to the Odyssey. It goes back to James Joyce. It goes back to not just the um, literature of the English language, but the spirituality that has arisen from it. And uh, <laughs> like, like I read in Hillary Clinton's great book, which everyone should read, What Happened, and I hope that she runs again and loses again, in 2020. Anyway, I uh, I think that there is a spiritual crisis in America, and I think that's more to do with anything than just um, gun control or anything else. And, and one reason I haven't been making videos in February as much as as before is just the the news has just been horrible. And I'm not e even going to mention specifics, but it's just. Um, like, I don't think uh, there are enough people doing right-wing whatever news. Like, I'd rather just focus on literature and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I promise I'll have more original, real content soon. But I just wanted to say that in, in addition to just doing uh, uh, music, and I'm, I've got book reviews. I'm going to do a lot of book reviews because I, I read quite a bit. I just wanted to say that I'm going to be talking about uh, spirituality and psychology, you know, I've been reading Jordan Peterson and all this, like, I want to get more into that. But, uh, that's part of the rebranding, and, uh, I just love it that even if it's just one or two people, I just, and people still talk to me about what they've seen on my channel, I just think it's great, so, thank you all for watching, <laughs> whoever is out there, peace.